Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel, to this video. If you are new, welcome. I'm so glad you decided to join me. Today I have a get ready with me using a ton of stuff that I purchased during the Sephora VIB sale. And the stuff that I use really isn't even the tip of the iceberg. I went a little ham during this sale, like the last few months of not really buying a whole lot of makeup and not doing hauls and stuff kind of caught up with me and I just was overwhelmed wanting to try so much new stuff. But I have been loving most of what I bought, which is crazy because usually you have those one or two things that you're like, okay, this didn't work for me, but this did. And, and then it kind of all evens out. No, I pretty much love everything. So let me show you a few of the things we're going to be using today. Obviously the Ulla Hendrickson Banana Bright. I mean, who hasn't purchased this? Who isn't, <laughs> who isn't using this? So we're going to use this. We're going to use the NARS Hot Nights Face uh, an eye palette. We're going to use the Natasha Denona Biba Neutral Palette. Uh, let's see, the Too Faced Peach Puff. Oh my gosh, I need to go buy another one. <laughs> We're going to use the Marc Jacobs Runway Worth the Weight Highlighter, one of the Cover FX Monochromatic Blushes. We're going to use one of the Too Faced Crystal Whip Eyeshadows, the Farsali 24 Karat Spray. Oh my gosh, there's just so much. So if you're interested to see how I came up with this look, but more importantly, like all of the new goodies that I picked up and how they are working for me, how I applied them, then just keep on watching. All right, guys. So we're going to start off by using the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Primer, face primer. Um, I have used this once before, and um, I think I like it. <laughs> but um, I feel like with hyped up makeup, I feel like my mind is elsewhere right now. With hyped up makeup, you never know if it's something that is mental, like, oh my gosh, I love it because other people have loved it, or if you really see benefits, really see benefits. Um, so I'm not sure yet. I think I like it, but <laughs> that's that. Um, my eyes are primed and ready. I've got a couple of new things as far as eyes go. So I do have a tea to go to a women's tea put on by some of the ladies in my at my church and so I'm gonna do something really simple but feminine and quick because I'm gonna move through this uh, get ready with me pretty quickly because I do have to be there I just dropped the mascara anyways I did pick up the Natasha Denona Viva palette you guys know that typically if she releases a palette like this I kind of pick it up right away but given that this released like a month prior to the sale I was like I'm gonna wait it out and hope it stays in stock and it did so I also have two I bought two of the Too Faced Crystal Whips eyeshadows and so we're gonna end up using one of those I think all over the eye again I'm looking for something I'm gonna do something super simple, super easy. This isn't going to be anything complex. Um, it's probably by the time this is over, you're gonna be like, that's all. <laughs> but anyways, so really all I want to do, and let me see what shade we are going to use. Um, all right, so let's, let's, let's try out, let's start out with the shade Buff right here. And I'm really only going to use two matte shades in from this palette today. Um, and then we'll use one of those crystal whips all over the lid and call it a day. So something really soft, feminine, really nice, but still look put together, you know? Oh, these blend just as I expected them to in typical Natasha Denona fashion. All right, we've got that on the crease. Next, I'm gonna just deepen it up a little bit with the shade Pasha right here. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this on a smaller um, blending brush. I feel like my brushes get so much lint and I never know why. <laughs> okay, so just gonna deepen that up just a smidge. Oh, these shades are so good. They're so neutral, which is very unlike me to just go for a neutral palette. But um, yeah, these are so good and I can see this as being like the perfect, just everyday on the run, quick and easy eyeshadow palette because they blend so effortlessly. And when I mean effortlessly, I mean like they are practically blending themselves right now. Um, this just makes it, uh, I know it's expensive, but it makes it a really great go-to palette with minimal frustration. All right, that is done. Let's go ahead and I, so I purchased Pop the Bubbly and I purchased Tap That. 
Um, we're going to end up going with Pop the Bubbly. The other one is a more rich chocolate brown. This is kind of a sheer wash of super like champagne sparkle. It is very pretty. I have also used this once and I liked it very much, but as it wore throughout the day, I can't tell if it started to flake. So I'm not entirely sure. Um, but this is what we're going to use all over the lid today. Again, it's very pretty, very feminine, and will still give us that glam look. I love the packaging to these. I do have to say, I featured these in my new makeup releases. Do I really need it? And I wasn't sure just because I don't use single products like this very often anymore. Palettes are what I just use. They're quick and easy, and uh, it's a one-stop shop. But um, I hope I don't have a tear in my contact. But I went in store and swatched and I thought, okay, I really do want to try these out. So we're just going to use the wand and just literally place this all over the lid. Up to the crease. So as a total, I feel like when I use these kind of like shadows, I don't know, it makes my eyeball feel cold. Is that just me? Is Do any of y'all feel that? That's bizarre. But anyways... You know how I was saying that like these feel kind of thin and then they end up getting a little flaky? Well, I just noticed that the very first ingredient in these is water. So that is probably why. Anyways, I went with two coats actually, two layers of this shadow to build it up a little bit. So we will see how that ends up working throughout the day. But let's go ahead and move on. I am going to grab, let's see, let me clean this off a little bit. I'm just gonna grab like a stubby, I don't even know what this is called. It's a little eyeshadow brush, probably like a liner brush. Um, it's by It Cosmetics. And we're gonna not do, we're not gonna do liquid liner. We're just gonna end up using the black in this Natasha Denona palette to kind of smudge out some liner on that lash line. So just grabbing a little on here. I don't know how intense this is. So let's go in with a little bit. This is really, really pretty. I didn't go in with a lot, and it's giving me that perfect smudgy eyeliner look. This is so effortless, you guys. If you're wondering if this palette is right for you, if you like neutrals and you like to be quick about your makeup, no hassle, no complexity, then this palette is definitely for you. So this is what it looks like with that black liner or shadow. I am so pleased with this, how easy it was to use, how just easy it was to blend out, um, the minimal shades that I used, and I'm still so happy with it. So that being said, I am going to go ahead and move on to mascara and lashes. I will do that off camera, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, lashes are on. In case you are wondering, I am wearing the brand Kiss. It is the style Pompadour. They are very natural, very thin, so probably the lightest lashes I have used. This is the name, Pompadour by Kiss. I like buying the five packs of lashes because I feel like it's more cost effective. <laughs> All right, so let's move on quickly to um, foundation. So I did pick up the Hourglass Liquid Vanish Foundation. I had received a sample of this, so it basically I went to Sephora and I was like, can I try it out before I buy it because I'd hate to buy it and then have to return it because I don't like it. And so um, they gave me a sample. I ended up loving it using the whole little thingy, which doesn't usually happen. And so you have to shake it. <laughs> so I knew that I wanted to pick it up during the sale. I am in the shade Shell. And for this, the claim is that you only have to use half a pump. And I have found that to be true. A little bit goes a very, very long way. So um, while this is a luxury brand and the price tag is a little heftier for this foundation, you have you just you use less. So I am going in with a half a pump right there, and then if I need more, I can build a little more, but at least um, this way, it's not, it will look cakey if you use too much. Now, the claim also on this one is that you don't have to use a primer. I can't do that. <laughs> I, it's, you know, it's funny because back when primers first got started, I was like, no, there's no need for that. Why does the makeup industry keep on adding steps when you know it's not needed and of course now I can't even picture life without face primer so <laughs> I don't know it's so funny how it's all you know it all goes around and now like things that we 
thought we the thought that we could live without now we can't so anyways um I like this foundation because it ends up looking like pretty natural it doesn't look too cakey or anything again if you go in with the right amount I did not purchase a new concealer during the sale so I am just gonna go in with my elf 16 hour camo concealer I am in the shade light beige for reference and a little bit of this goes a long way I probably even use it too much total side note the eyeshadow by Too Faced, now that it's dried down, I think I do like how it looks. I think I'm realizing that it's meant to be more of a, like, it's not meant to be chunky sparkle because the claim is that you can use it, like, on your lips too and stuff like that. So, I guess in my mind I was like, well, you know, I, I don't know. I think it's meant to be more, like, metallic type of finish and, uh... And that's what it has dried down to. Like I said, the last time I used it, like maybe about three-fourths of the way through the day, it started looking like it wanted to flake. And so like it was thinning out on my eyelids. So I'll have to see today if it does the same thing, especially now that I have it all over my lid. I just had it over like a fourth of my lid that last time. So we will find out. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my Milk Makeup powder. I am in the shade light and I do use this to both set my under eyes as well as my face. So just going to go in with some of this. And then we'll get a uh, larger blending brush or buffing brush, face brush, powder brush, whatever it's called. <laughs> and we're just going to place it all over the face. Okay, I did pick up the NARS Hot Nights Eye and Face Palette. And this does come with a bronzer that I like very, very much. The bronzer is in the shade Manihi, and I hope I said that right, but this is what it looks like here. This is the deeper of the two palettes, uh, but I am a light, media, light to light medium skin tone, and I find that on me, um, it works very well. So just going to place some of that all over my face. So I got such good things during this sale, and you know how when you buy stuff and you're like, okay, one or two of these things is going to go back, because I'm certainly not going to like everything I bought, and that has not happened to me, and I'm like, uh, I purchased a ton of stuff, so anyways, but it is kind of nice, it's such a pleasant surprise to be able to love everything you bought, and uh, yeah, so far I do love everything I bought, so... Um, what did you guys pick up? I love knowing what others picked up from the sale because then sometimes things I didn't know about, I'm like, ooh, I need to put that in my loves list for next sale. I'm such a sucker that way, and I love finding out about products like that. So let me know in the comments below what you guys picked up. I got some good skincare this time. I'm really excited about that. Anyways, there's just a lot of good stuff right now at Sephora. We're moving right along. We're going to go into blush. I did pick up one of the monochromatic blushes by Cover FX. If you watch Mel Thompson, she had said that these look like bars of soap, and I just couldn't agree more. As soon as I pulled this out of the box, she is exactly who I thought of, because I thought, man, this looks like a bar of, like, ivory soap or something. So this, I got Soft Peach. This is what it looks like. I don't know which one I want to use. Uh, maybe we'll use them both. So just, ooh. I grabbed a lot because when I swatched it, when it came in, ooh, that is so pretty. I had not used this. When I swatched it, when it came in, it swatches really light, and I thought, man, I don't know if that's going to show up, but it sure does. I haven't pulled the film off my mirror, and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> this is so pretty, you guys. Again, why am I loving every little thing I picked up? I need to not like something. <laughs> this is highly unusual. This makes me want like one of the pink ones. 
This is so, so pretty. I'm gonna use a different blush brush for the shimmery side or for this little metallic side. And we're gonna put this on top right here and see how it works. Cause that's of the two, it's the one I liked better, like how it swatched. That is so pretty. We'll have to see, I'll have to use that shimmery or that metallic side on its own to see how it works. Um, but as far as the, I mean, and I layered, so I can't really, really tell. As far as the matte side, I love it. Um, almost kind of wishing I'd have picked up the pink. But anyways, let's move on to highlight. You guys know highlight's my thing. And I did pick up the Marc Jacobs Runway Worth the Weight. Um, what is this called? Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer. The one they released at Christmas time, I wasn't a fan of. It was too a little too deep. Um, in addition to that, um, I found that it just like would fade on me over the course of the day. So I wasn't a fan of that one. That one I did return. I knew I was not going to get use out of this, out of that one. This one though looks so good. If you do, um, not watch, but if you keep up with Temptalia's uh, blog or reviews or whatever, she um, had given this an A and uh, she gave this one such a good review and I thought, yes, I'm excited that this one's actually, hopefully, gonna work. So we're gonna take some on our A23 and I don't have any um, cream highlighter on underneath. You guys know I always love to do that, but for purposes of seeing how this performs, I didn't put any on. Wow, this looks really, really pretty. Really pretty, you guys. Now, the real question is, just because, oh my gosh, this is the perfect tone. I'm so excited, I'm so happy. The question is going to be, does this wear well throughout the day, unlike the other one, at least on me? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so pretty. This was $49, of course, minus the discount, but this thing is gargantuan. This is a huge highlight. I'm curious, what is the, how weird, it has a six month lifespan. That's a little strange. 0.35 ounces. Do they all have a six month lifespan? Is, is Marc Jacobs usually that short? I never noticed. I keep my stuff way past expiration date, you guys, so I'm just gonna put that out there. This is beautiful. This is really lovely. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I don't mind beaming to the next block. That is good with me. All right, we are down to our last product. This was awesome. And that is a lip product by Too Faced. I caved and bought one of the peach puffs. Um, I got mine in the shade, don't at me, don't at me. I asked my husband yesterday, what does that mean? Cause I'm like, not sure. Like the only thing it reminds me is like, don't come at me, bro. <laughs> this is like the deepest kind of plummy wine shade. You have to twist it. I wasn't amazed by the swatches of these in store. My phone's going off, <laughs> but I don't know. Like I, they keep on getting such great reviews that I thought maybe on the lips, they will look, goodness, great. Um, but I'm twisting and twisting. Usually this happens when something is brand new. I feel like I see it coming up. I don't know. I'm afraid to twist too much. Oh, there it comes. There we go. And then it starts seeping into the little cotton thingy. That's cool. All right. Moment of truth. This, this is going to be interesting, I think. Let's see. Mm. Gosh, I'm gonna end up dropping this, trying to open this. I need a close-up mirror, you guys. I can't do the mirror up here, uh, like my little round mirror. I have to have something close. Let's see. Ooh. Ah. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is so good. <laughs> what? I see, I see. You guys, this goes on the lips so smooth. It feels like I'm putting nothing on my lips. This little poofy thingy is so comfortable. It smells delicious, just like your typical peach line. 
by Too Faced. And now this makes me want to sh buy the shade that I left because I wanted to try one before I jumped off the deep end and started buying a whole bunch of them. Oh wow. There is a reason, you guys, that these have been getting so many good reviews. Oh, this is stunning. Wow, I need, oh, okay, yeah. I, I, yeah, I need another one. I need the shade Boy Bye. <laughs> this and the other, that other shade were the ones I really wanted and I thought, no, I'm going to first try this one. And then if I like it, I will grab the other one. Oh my goodness, okay, so, here we go. Full face of products I picked up during the Sephora sale. Yikes. I like so much. Because a lot of this stuff I hadn't used before. I had used a couple of things one time. And then aside from that... Oh! One more thing. I did have the Farsali 24 Karat Skin Mist. Let's use this. And then we'll be done. If I can get this thing open. Ooh. I can't open the box. There we go. <laughs> okay. I've heard mixed reviews on this. Obviously, Jaclyn Hill loves it. Okay, are we ready? Can you see me? Mmm. <laughs> oh, it smells good. It smells like a citrus, citrusy popsicle. The sprayer is... I'm so used to the fine mist in that watermelon... Uh, in the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Spray that I am now no longer used to these firmer mists. I am happy to have that. Ooh, that felt good. I, l I think I really love that. But given the fact that I'm apparently loving everything, is that a surprise? Anyways, this is the final look. I am off to get dressed so that I can get to my tea. Thank you so much for getting ready with me. My friends, that brings us to the end of another Get Ready With Me. This one was a little bit more special because it's using a ton of new products. I had only used a couple of these and I only used them once. So pretty much everything else was brand new to like to be used today. Um, and then even the ones that I had tried once, like you really don't know off of first try until you start using them. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with the stuff that I have picked up. Um, like I mentioned, now that the Too Faced um, Crystal Whip has kind of dried down, it looks really nice, really shimmery, really metallic. Oh my gosh, you guys, this thing is stunning. So glad I picked that up and oh, I am over the moon for this peach puff that I want to go get the shade Boy by. But I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for sticking it out with me. I am on my way out the door to my women's tea. I'm actually running a little bit late. So I will include the verse of the day down here just in an effort to, if you are new, let you know that Jesus loves you so very much. And just to give you some encouragement, not in any way, shape, or form to push anything down your throat. This is just love from me to you. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Have a great day.